Hey guys, welcome to the Ultimate Pockets mod, Lonely Rawfulness Edition. Why is that? Because I'm lonely, and I got nobody to play with. The reason for this is due to the fact that we've taken so long to try and get a game running that everybody just kind of gave up and decided to do other stuff. And I don't blame them, honestly. I'm playing this mostly because I'm stubborn and I really, really wanted a, a video. I wasted so much time doing absolutely nothing but playing tech support for two hours, crashing constantly, and then afterwards finally getting the game running and then crashing halfway through because... Meme. Very fr I'm very frustrated. This mod is um, very unstable for online play. Uh, this is due to Relic servers sort of fucking up and desyncing de with people and stuff like that. But if you play this solo, it's completely fine. You never get it crashes or anything like that. Just, it's such a bitch to just play online with. And then afterwards, just playing tech support with people who don't know how to install the mod or install the correct patches and stuff. It's just mind-numbingly annoying. Even after all the videos on how to install the mod, people still have difficulty. I'm very surprised, actually. So yeah, expect some of these videos where I'm playing Ultimate Pocket Mod. I'm just by myself, really. It's because I I spent so much time trying to install the mod for people, trying to help people out, trying to get people to play all this other shit, and then all of a sudden it just keeps crashing to the point where it just demoralizes everybody and nobody wants to play. And that's really about it. I think the mod's fantastic, don't get me wrong, but it's the only reason why anybody plays Dawn of War Soulstorm, but it's still, like, super fucking annoying. I just want a traditional RTS Dawn of War game to play that isn't complete, um, doo-doo crap. Which is why I play Ultimate Apocalypse mod and stuff like the base game. I'm kind of waiting for Dawn of War 3 badly because... Then I can finally play like a triple A Dawn of War game without crashes. Oh. If Dawn of War 3 never crashes, I really don't give a fuck if it takes out sync kills or not. I don't care at all. You can take out as much shit as possible. Just give me a smooth experience. Anyway, so, Tau. What are the OP factions for the day very interesting how in ultimate pockets mod history there's always a faction that's going to be op in a given patch so sometimes it's theranid sometimes it's tau sometimes it's imperial guard sometimes it's orc sometimes it's necrons it's 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 always something you'll never know what to expect anyway the music in the background will be a dawn a call of duty world at war actually just decided to pop in the soundtrack. I was listening to Medal of Honor, but I was like, "Come, Call of Duty is actually right here. Why don't I just listen to that? Play Call of Duty till, I think, Black Ops, and then sort of gave up on the series. The Black Ops was really good, actually. So let's see, allies-wise. Orcs. Chaos Demons. Orcs again. Orcs have been fixed. Um, They don't have that glitch anymore. And they've had a bunch of other changes, so they're not OP. Um, whether or not they're not, you know, underpowered is up to debate, actually. But I think now, probably with the new changes, orcs are in a good spot. But I guess we'll have to see, honestly. Alright, let's just grab these before our ally grabs them. Let's do that. Now, the interesting thing about Tau units is that the uh, Fire Warriors have really shit vision, but Pathfinders have really good vision. So, if you can, always target the Pathfinders because they give vision to the Fire Warriors. Otherwise, you Fire Warriors will be easy pickings. I, I meant that as in, uh, otherwise the Fire Warriors will just completely decimate my bad. I'm a little bit tired after... Using my brain for so long, getting games ready. Command, command. But yeah, if you guys actually want to play um UA games, in um 
the Steam group that I have, Ro Master Rothless Cave of Wonders. I do have a link to the team speak where we play video games. Sometimes we play UA, sometimes we play StarCraft, a bunch of other stuff. I'm gonna start advertising it a little bit more aggressively so that you guys can uh, play with me and stuff. Cause I know the lion's share of people that uh, watch my content are not exactly subscribed to any of the sub stuff, uh, the you know rawfulness stuff like the Reddit or all that other shit. By the way, I have a fucking Reddit. I <laughs> don't use it. But I guess I should use it. Mm. That'll be on the chopping block. But yeah, I understand that a lot of people don't um, kind of follow those other social media sites. So yeah, that's um, that's one little thing that you can check out, I suppose. Then buy my fucking t-shirts. No, I don't have t-shirts. I was gonna get like rawfulness socks, but then I realized nobody would buy them. So I was like, why? Would you buy rawfulness socks? Imagine explaining to someone, hey, what are you, what are you wearing? I'm wearing socks of this like Middle Eastern guy that plays RTS games. Oh yeah? Probably think you're a tad strange now, wouldn't they? All right, so let's get a second unit. Pathfinders that fucking overload on Fire Warriors because their pulse rifles are really good. I think only the um, Chaos uh, Demons actually have ways of dealing with Tau because they can deep strike uh, strong melee units. I tried to do an earlier game with Tau vs Orcs but that didn't work out because of balance and now there's a whole fuckload of stuff here. Holy moly. I got to get defenses over here damn straight actually right now. Yeah, this is gonna be kind of cray. If we don't hold the line, we're we're just gonna get fucked. That boys. This Russian music reminds me a lot of Metro 2033. Metro 2035 is actually coming out. I'm very shocked by that. I thought the series was dead, but nope. Like a tumor, it exists. But it's a good tumor. It's the tumor you want. Actually. Are there benefits to having tumors? I guess you're always high all the time if you have good health insurance. You lose your hair, eat what you want, and still you lose weight. Ah, I told, I took that joke. I'm not even gonna take ownership for that. Oh, the line, boys. It's an, more of an Imperial Guard thing, but I guess it relates to Tau a whole lot more. Oh god, playing with AI makes the game more laggy. Wow. Who could have guessed? Alright, let's back off a little bit so that we don't fucking die. Come on, let me place it. I just need a lot more power, actually. Holy fuckaroo. The game is dying because of all the AI spam. This is why I really don't want to play as against AI. So much lag. Enjoy it, boys. Enjoy it. Fire Warriors, keep at it. Oh my god. Prosper at 
There's probably gonna be a crash, by the way, with the amount of stuff that's happening on screen. As long as we push them back, we're good. Just make sure they're on this side of the border. And they pushed her. I guess maybe the turn is also good at pushing cow. Yeah, actually they would be good. They can deep strike infantry. And then they also have some decent um ranged options. They have a lot of melee options actually. Yeah, they're really good. It also hurts that my my allies aren't really helping. But that's because they're moving to the left side and not the right side. Huh. Turn is as a counter for Tau. Tyranids is a counter for everybody. Why don't we just make the Tyranids OP? Oh my god, that would actually work. Hmm, what keeps pushing them out? Is it this unit? Ah, okay, it is that unit. Interesting me. This unit actually pushes back uh, units close to it. Or this, ta or this turret, actually, my bad. Yeah, look at that, wow. We're invincible. Yeah, even melee units don't really work out too well. Like, you have to really bum rush it. But if you have enough turrets, and if these things are set up, then it's over. Alright, now shields still stack, which means the more shields I stack in a smaller, a small area, the more defense bonuses I get. Thus, I will become god. You know, the biovores keep attacking, but we got the shield, so they can't. This the biovores aren't gonna do shit. Oh, we're god. Oh man, this is amazing. It's over. And look, our allies are pushing on the right side, and we've got them completely stuck on the left side. Hey, should I build another one of these? No, I'll build another one of these uh, anti-melee turrets. Get the fuck out of here. We just we have a ton of units here pushing them back, but we also have these turrets that are just firing on them. I don't think the turrets themselves are that powerful, but the fact that they push them back is just oh, that is glorious. That is a meme incarnate.
Yeah, they need strong melee units. That's the only thing that can really save them at this point. I mean, I don't think the arc defense turrets uh, push back Carnifexes. Actually, I think I'm wrong on that one. I think they did push back a Carnifex here or there. Yeah, I don't know what's the counter here. If you just have enough, like, ranged infantry, you can just mow down anything that comes your way. And then even the melee units get pushed back by their giant blast. So you need to have burst damage, which come in the form of Titan units, actually. So yeah, there is no way to actually counter this. Uh, effectively. There is a way, but not effectively. Like, you have to get, like, an Aeonic Orb. But at that point, you might as well just say GG if the only thing that can counter uh, what your opponent is doing is an Aeonic Orb. And that's not a good balance. Like this one Titan thing. Oh. Point us at our targets. So yeah, all round tower. Broken broken Point faction. Us at our targets. Prosper as Tau shall. And you know what's funny? There's even more OP stuff when it comes to like the other factions. Did you know that there's a certain combination of units? I think we showed it off in the last like orc video or whatever. Where, or the last video where Dylan was an orc player, I'm not sure, uh, maybe it was covered up, but there's a certain two combination of two units that can cause the orcs to infinitely heal. Just stupid fucking shit. Oh man, they're really eating my piss balls right now. Carnifex isn't even attacking me. They're just focused on the demons over here. And I'm just shooting them from afar. And these are pulse rifles. They're really powerful, actually. Granted, they're really pushing on the right side because they can't get anywhere on the left. Like, I want to see the Trigon push at me really quick. Yeah, it protects all units with applied ranged morale damage and knockback immunity. Oh, from range attacks with applied ranged morale damage and knockback immunity. All units, however, suffer more melee damage. But that doesn't matter because of... This combination of... <gasps> What's even happening over here? Gargoyles are stuck on the ledges. Oh my god. But yeah, these turrets, they just keep pushing everything back, so I don't know. It's a throne of judgment over there. That's a meme. And here's another problem, orc uh, turrets. Actually, I guess orc turrets aren't that big of a problem because they don't generate a radius or do they? No, they cannot. They don't have any radius whatsoever. Oh, but everything's just dying on my computer. This is why I really like online battles because then things don't get the stupid levels where you just have a flock of gargoyles just here for no reason besides meme. Should I even kill that? I mean, they are dying. I'm really glad I don't have persistent bodies. If you have persistent bodies on in Ultimate Apocalypse Mod, you're fucking retard. That shit's gonna lag you so bad. I don't care how authentic of your fictional universe battle that you want to have. Your computer is not... Ultimate po uh, Dawn of War isn't strong enough for that level of power. 
All right, now to complete the Tau OP trifecta. Tons of ion cannons everywhere. Oh look, the orcs are helping me. My green butt buddies. I think orcs have prostitutes. Silly question. Orcs don't have sex. <laughs> Blight drone. Did you kill all the gargoyles that are over there? Okay, I'm gonna take all my power and put it into. I'm gonna take all my requisition and put it into power, actually. Oh, I can't increase it anymore. Fuck. What are you doing, dickhead? Stop killing my lona. You can't listen, post. Hey, I could actually see the entire map, so that is something to keep in mind about. Anyway, let's upgrade the shield generator so they cover more uh, radius. And also, we can remove the debuff from melee attacks. Making our shield generators just... There's just... Why? Uh, they're just so OP. There's no, no problem whatsoever. Okay, we gotta build that ion cannon, then we get to Apocalypse tier. And then at that point, we can just um, turn off our brain. Oh, this actually shuts down all the shields. So maybe we'll activate one shield. Maybe two, actually. if I'm healing in this shield. I don't think so, but like... I, I don't think I'm taking any damage whatsoever, except for that one time where I turned off my shield. Oh, I'm taking damage but slowly, but that's because of the um, poison effect or whatever of the Tyranids. Trust me, this upgrade's gonna be a meme. Oh, they're pushing in. Yeah, that Trigon's really dishing out some pain. But it's gonna die in about a second. Once I remove this melee debuff, however, then we'll become gods. But right now, yeah, the Trigon's gonna take out one of these. And then it will promptly die. Though, you know what's the biggest problem here? I'm bursting off against Tyranids. Yeah, well, they're actually pushing. I guess I um, I waited too long with these shield generator upgrades. So they have sufficiently strong uh, melee units. Okay. Please build that already. Prosper as Tau shall. Shield generators being put up right over here would be good. I'm about to get another um hound cannon set up. It's about Three fourths of the way there, from the looks of it. Okay, one is done. If we don't get these shield add-ons, then yeah, this too too weak to melee. Really need those upgrades.
We could get a very Mimi uh, unit. Get the Mako Titan, I guess. Get better. Um, God, I'm so close to actually like reaching the point where I'm maxed out on requisition and power. So I was about to say I need more power, but I'm actually just completely maxed at this point. Um, I'm um, building our suite of power. I'm about to get the upgrades right now, so that's good. I just need my allies to uh not fuck up as much and I think we're good. Alright, it's almost up and then it's over. Yep, it's over. More more range covered and no melee debuff. Okay. Could just get the Manta and end the game. In fact, now we need less hazard suits because we're gonna get a Mako Titan in about a second. And these ion cannons are now being put to work. Granted, even though Tao is extremely powerful, um, I don't think this is enough defense to really push back against four full factions. right now. Oh, we're actually filled up. Meme. Okay, good. Get a relic upgrade. Remember, the shields uh, stack and they provide bonus defense for all of my allies as well I think so now this area is just fuck off we also got this guy over here I wonder if they'll ever add in the super titan units for Tau that uh came out the one guy with the three cannons on his back that's pretty meme or those other um Tau super units That'd be really cool. They got a lot of those. They got a lot of Tau um, super units actually for Warhammer 40k. It's very surprising. For some reason, there's a um 
For some reason, I feel like maybe there's too many super uh, units. But then again, this is Warhammer 40k we're talking about, where you have giant armies everywhere. What? Oh shit! How did he? How did he die? Why did this guy die out of the entire crew? That's really strange, actually. I wonder what that could be caused from. I wonder if it was caused by me. Oh. Uh, Shields activated. Oh, they were under construction, but I didn't see that they were finished. Alright, well... Doesn't matter too much except, uh... What are we left with? Yeah, we'll um probably Demon lose this. That was two nukes. Like there's very little that can um survive that. We need it we need the manta now. I need more power. Um I just wanted the Mako because it was easy just to um, get that Titan out as fast as possible. Oh, there we go. Okay, he's still alive. There we go. Yeah, so we're still in easy peasy lemon, uh, lemon squeezy type situation. As long as we keep our cool. Pretty surprised nobody died though. Oh shit! And then they died like randomly. Oh, that's why. Okay. I'm about to nuke this area and just clear out this fucking spam over here. The downside to this map is that um, everybody can get their super stuff really, really fast. Oh man, I still need power. So because of that, it does get into these uh, super weapon versus matchups quite quickly. Um, 
And if you have an incompetent team, it's gonna be bad news bears. For everybody involved. There's just so many, um... There's so many endgame nukes going on, holy shit. I should've probably gotten the Manta straight away, but I don't have the power for it. I mean, Mako's cheap because it's just 3,000. Oh, that's not a reference. Never mind, we're not fucked. Uh, I'm just gonna nuke this again. Oh, fuck. You must live. Ask them for power. No, I can't ask them to do anything. Actually, I don't think the AI knows about us uh, sending power to their allies. Take this. Oh. That's not good. Tyrannosaurus Rex is here. Did I ever solve against two Tyranids, by the way? Maybe it's not Tau that's OP. Maybe it's Tyranids. Oh. Area denial, please! How many nukes have I dropped? How many nukes have dropped on me? This Mako Titan is going to live. Mm. Actually, I think we were fucked from the beginning. Because uh, we had two orcs, so they didn't have the capability to throw down any super weapons. Whereas the Tyranids did. Shields deactivated XP202 Magotech. Ready. No, I'm blaming the orcs, but it is true in a sense. Oh, we won. Yeah, it was two Tyranids. Holy shit. The tyrannic invasion of the Tao Empire. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna name my video after Tyranids attacking Tao. Well, orcs are gonna live before me. Uh. So yeah, with better matchups, this and things could have been different. But yeah, that would be uh, an ultimate apocalypse mod game for you guys. Just so that I can just not cry myself to sleep going, oh, I've wasted so much time not recording. Yeah, it was Tyranids, Tyranids, Sisters, Eldar. There were two orcs and a chaos demon. We weren't going to win. But who, maybe, you know what? It's my fault. Orcs were top tier. I was bottom bitch.
How the AI is just sort of chilling with their magic school buses. Oh, don't nuke the orcs, they already faced enough. Alright, well, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, we'll have some people. Bye bye.